is Las Vegas. And this is AAO 2015. All of ophthalmology meets. I'm Rachel Kopchak, and this is AAO TV, your source for highlights throughout the meeting. And what better place to connect than in face to face meetings with your colleagues and friends than right here at AAO 2015? Attendees are here to master new skills, get inspired by the latest research and techniques, and the opportunity to immerse themselves in thought provoking presentations. I'll be attending the Retina Subspecialty Day. Look forward to hearing the experts talk about surgical techniques and uh, what's new and upcoming um, in diabetic um, treatment. It's uh, very interesting to be here in the American Academy because we are looking for the most updated information in our subspecialty refractive surgery, especially this year. I'm hoping that this year there's some useful information about uh, new strabismus techniques, some cataract information that's um, coming out, that stuff's good. Crews worked all day Friday to get the massive exhibit hall ready for Saturday's big opening. The exhibition is on level two in halls A, B, and C. It's open Saturday through Monday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'm joined now by Dr. Jonathan Rubenstein, the AAO Secretary for the annual meeting. It's great to be with you again this year. Thanks, Rachel. Good to see you again, too. Yes. So what are, tell us what you're looking most forward to at this year's meeting in Las Vegas. Well, it's, I'm always, this is the most exciting time. This is the first day of the meeting, and so I'm looking forward to everything, really. It's, it's a, it's a jam-packed meeting for the next four days, five days, until Tuesday. I've got a tremendous amount of content starting with subspecialty days which are today following into the opening session Sunday and the rest of the annual meeting that goes on through Tuesday we've got a tremendous amount of symposium paste posters spotlights papers lots of scientific content lots of social events so it should be a great time for everybody and everyone's always excited to be here and look forward to this meeting every year. Can you give us a little more, what are some of the hot topics that people are really going to be talking about throughout the next couple of days? Well, there, are, there are a lot of hot topics. There's going to be actually an interesting session about Ebola and how the effects that had on um, general health and eyes in general. Uh, there'll be a lot of hot topics having to do with cataracts, cataract surgery, using femtosecond lasers for cataract surgery, which is a a newer technique for that. Um, a lot of new techniques also in retinal and glaucoma surgery that will be talked about. Just a, a myriad of new things. The thing that's cool about ophthalmology is it's very tied to technology. So as technology advances through our industry partners, it gives us a lot of new techniques that we can employ to help our patients in ophthalmology. And, and we try to address that and be as current and up-to-date as possible at the meeting every year. At the meeting, what helps you navigate through this meeting and through the halls here? Well, there, the, traditionally we had a actual written program that we would use um, that is being used less and less by people and now we're really transitioning more to a mobile meeting guide. This is a web-based product that is accessible on smartphones and tablets. So really there's no need to carry the big book anymore, which is great. Um, you can really do everything with your smartphone. Most people are throughout life these days are walking out of their heads in their smartphones. It's kind of unfortunately anyway, but here you can do that and it's okay. So you can use your smartphone to find out what's going on now. You can, you can look up and figure out what sessions to plan for. You can actually add them to your calendar. So you can populate a calendar all through this app that allows you to figure out where you want to be all the time of the day. So it's, it's tremendously useful. You can also navigate the exhibit floor too, figure out where the particular companies are that you might want to visit and try out their products. And you're very well known for the entertainment portion of the opening session and last year you did a little uh, river dance and have really put on some great shows so can you give us a little sneak peek what can we expect from you well, this year? I, I really can't tell you the details of it because part of the fun of the whole thing is the surprise element and that's hopefully to get some of the people there to watch every year to see how I can make a fool out of myself. That's really my, my goal. But I will tell you, the hint is it's definitely very Las Vegas based. And as soon as you see this little performance, you'll understand why we're doing it in Las Vegas. Thank you so much. It's great to speak with you. 
Upping the ante was the focus for this year's Retina Subspecialty Day. Experts in the field shared updates from both medical and surgical retina. Results from several clinical trials were revealed, and it was found that we are still in the early days of figuring out if we can administer combination therapy for wet macular degeneration and the trials on gene therapy for retinal disease show promise for the future. There's a lot of excitement in the gene therapy realm for retinal disease. We had positive data recently that was presented in Paris uh, of the RPE-dependent LCA uh, gene therapy trials, and that was the first successful phase three trial in any part of the body. And so the retina really uh, is a wonderful uh, place to be exploring gene therapy. It really lends itself to this kind of treatment. AAO's 2015 Charles L. Sheppens lecturer was Dr. Mark S. Blumenkrantz, who discussed the emerging world of digital ophthalmology. Mobile devices, like the iPhone, along with several separate attachments, can be used to measure various types of visual functions, like Snellen visual acuity and contrast sensitivity, to Averometry measuring refractive error and high-quality fundus images. Dr. Blumenkrantz believes all of this can improve care while bending the cost curve and it's fairly simple to integrate into your daily practice. Start thinking about uh, using the technology to do parts of your exam. For instance, a very simple thing which doesn't require any hardware and is free of cost is to download some of the apps that are available. And then with that, you're able to monitor your patient's visual acuity outside the office in between visits. So for people that have rapidly evolving diseases that require treatment and rapid response times, Coast to coast, dust to dawn. SitePath is on the move. Mile after mile, all year long. SitePath is on the move. Our 200 employees travel 3 million miles a year. To help our customers provide quality care. Close to home. All we do is eyes. All day, every day. Every day. Join the movement. Presentations are just one aspect of the Retina Subspecialty Day, but right here in the exhibits, you can get hands-on experience. Attendees had access to over 60 companies that are here to showcase their retina-specific products and services. This session was seen not only by hundreds of attendees in Las Vegas, but also by many more around the globe. An international panel of surgeons gave video examples of various complications in lens and corneal refractive surgeries. The entire presentation was streamed online and a virtual moderator facilitated questions from those not in the room. Dr. Amar Agarwal, who is renowned for his surgical videos, moderated the panel. He said each surgeon's individual point of view proved that there are two sides to every method of treatment. Any surgery will have a pro and a con. And the idea of this video symposium for lens and cornea-based surgery is for the delegates sitting in the hall and internationally in the world to analyze, learn the best technique, and if they have a problem, how to manage that. AAO 2015 is underway, and I'm joined now by the AAO 2015 president, Dr. Russ Van Gelder. It's great to be with you. Thank you, Rachel. Now let's talk about your presidency. What have been the highlights of your presidency? It's been a fantastic year. It's the greatest honor to be the president of this organization and to represent the profession. Um, there have been so many great moments this year, but probably the top have been getting to meet so many of our members in so many places. I've had the uh, opportunity to visit Asia and Europe and meet our international members and to meet many members in the U.S. and to hear what's going on in our whole field. It's been a, a wonderful experience. What have you taken away from that experience? What's your most proud moment? I think the uh, Academy has accomplished a great deal this year. I'm very proud of the launch of the IRIS Registry in the past year, which is really going to be a game changer for ophthalmology. I'm very proud that we uh, have examined our branding and our mission statement and really refreshed both of those this year, which I think is fundamental for the field. And I'm uh, delighted that we've maintained such a high level of membership and can provide such a benefit to our members. 93% uh, of U.S. ophthalmologists remain members of the Academy, and I think that's a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing and another wonderful thing is research you're a big proponent for ophthalmologists being a part of research and practice so why is that so important I think it's important for all ophthalmologists to help further the field uh, we wouldn't be where we are today were it not for our uh, 
uh, the folks who preceded us and what they've done to advance the state of the art, whether it's cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, plastics. Um, and I think we all have some obligation to bring that forward. Some of us spend much of our careers doing that. Others contribute in different ways. I think the registry will allow everyone to contribute in helping us figure out the best way to take care of our patients. And what are you most looking forward to this year here at AO 2015? Well, Las Vegas is a fantastic venue. Uh, I think the attendance at this meeting is going to be one of the highest in history. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing many of my friends and colleagues and really getting to enjoy the camaraderie that we have in ophthalmology. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Van Gelder. We appreciate it. Congratulations on a successful year. I'm Rachel Kopchak, and this is AAO TV. I want to help. I want to make a difference. I can help you. I want to be able to look my patients in the eye and say, we can do that. I have high standards, and I want to be able to deliver on them. I don't want red tape. I want to innovate. I want to collaborate. I want to feel that passion again. I want every patient to know that I'm not just some standard. I love my calling. I love what I do. Because I'm their doctor. And I am Alfion.